Nixon Calendar is accusing PSA President Leroy Batista and his executive of violating the union's election rules and failing to appoint an elections committee as mandated by the union's constitution. He said he would have sought legal advice from his attorneys. What we are seeing here is simply the executive breaching the bylaws of the PSA without any explanation and denying members their opportunity to vote on time. I would have subsequently wrote, my attorneys would have wrote to the Registrar of Trade Unions, which that is the regulatory body of trade unions and associations, and reported the matter. The former General Secretary says, based on the bylaws, elections in the PSA are supposed to be held every four years. Well, the bylaws provide for that the elections can be held 90 days after the due date, but that is an exception. It is not the rule, because to do that, it would mean that you would now alter the terms and conditions of an executive officer being four years and three months. He is accusing the current leader of politicizing the PSA and betraying its members. The past executive under Watson Duke was rallying their politi politics all over the place. And now Leroy Batiste have brought politics into our wage negotiations. He has declared that he will not negotiate with the government on Labor Day. Kalinda expressed concerns that the situation could hinder ongoing collective bargaining the PSA is involved in with the government. What Leroy Batiste went on to do, he absented himself, but found himself recently in the Ministry of Labor with the cooperative officers talking about hold on, hold on until the next government comes in to give me 10%. How foolish. How insulting that could be, that you will bring mainstream political views into a union meeting and telling members, hold on for the next administration to come in. We will give you, they, would, they, they say they will give you 10%. Charlotte Kisto, TV6 News.